ever wondered what you need to be pinning or what to even create pins for? Well, today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to create a pin plan for your business for the next 30 to 90 days. Now, there are a few steps that I take you through, and these are the same exact steps that I take all of my clients' strategies through, and this is what I teach inside of my membership where I am educating our students on Pinterest all of the time. So. Creating your pin plan is actually gonna start with a little bit of brainstorming in the beginning. I want you to ask yourself, what content or goals am I trying to achieve or create in the next 30 to 90 days? Are there launches coming up that you need to pencil into the calendar and create content for? And then I also want you to cross-reference those events that are happening in your business with Pinterest trends. Now we get to Pinterest trends a bit more later, but this tool allows you to see when content searches are down and going up. It's just like Google Trends, except it's on Pinterest. I want you to do a little bit of brainstorming and start thinking about the content that you are going to be creating in the next th one to three months, 30 to 90 days. Now, to actually create your pin plan, we're gonna start off with actually creating a content library. Now, most people fail to even do this they create one piece of content, promote it one time, and then it's gone. They never think about it again. And that is like the worst thing that you can do in your business is spend your time, which is worth a whole lot of money, to create a piece of content that never gets love ever again. So I want you to create a content library for yourself. There's two ways you can go about this. You can create it in a tool like ClickUp, or you can use a spreadsheet. I think in the beginning, when you're very first doing this, spreadsheets are generally easier to use. You're not using any crazy formulas or anything like that. You're literally just getting your content plan put into the spreadsheet. Now, if you need something like this, I sell a Pinterest system. You can grab it and just use it. If you want to just get started with your own, simply just export your content from your website or do the dreaded like long version and copy paste it all over there into a spreadsheet, or alternatively, you can use ClickUp, which I also sell templates for as well. Now, I want you to get a content library in place. That way you know what content you have in your business to promote. And if any of that content relates to the goals that you have coming up in the next one to three months. This is the easiest way for you to create a content plan because you have all of this library of content already and it needs to be pinned. So you can choose very quickly from this library of content and start creating pins for it very quickly. Now, that's only step one. So we have our content library in place. Next, the next step, step two, is actually to create a content plan for the next one to three months. What content is needing to be created for your business to promote and get to those goals that you want to achieve? If you are launching a product in the next three months, then you probably need to be creating awareness content that relates to that product and the questions that people are going to have and be searching for to find your product. So I would be thinking about that and adding that into my content plan. What are the most common questions? What are the most common objections that people have? And start creating blog content around that. Now the next step is for people who are a little bit further along in their marketing journey, and this is if you have analytics installed on your website. If you do not have Google Analytics installed on your website and you are not tracking your data, please pause this video and go do that right now. In fact, skip right past installing the old fashioned UA tag and go ahead and get Google Analytics 4, GA4 installed, that way, come next year in 2023 in the summer, you're all set up and you have, had, you have plenty of GA4 content happening. Here is where a lot of people get lost when they're looking at their analytics. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go to Google Analytics and in the old view, is, this is how we're gonna get to this, this, is in the old view. You're gonna go to acquisition, social, network referrals, and you're gonna choose Pinterest. In that screen, you're going to change the date frame to be the time that you're looking at last year. So if you're looking to create a pin plan for April, then you're gonna look at April of last year. If you're looking to create a pin plan for May, you're gonna look at May. Now you could back that up 90 days. So if you're looking to create a pin plan in May, you could look at February. February to May and see what was popular in that time frame. 
Now the reason I want you to do this is because typically we have trends that happen in our own industries that are going to happen again. So we have the same user behavior. When, a, when spring happens, people are looking for gardening tips. When summer happens, people are looking for swimming and like outdoor activities. So those industry trends will remain. So whatever content was popular on your site last year around this time, it's gonna be popular again, and you wanna create pins for it again. The next step is actually taking what you find in your analytics and cross-referencing that with Pinterest trends. That way you can see what other, like the ups and downs, but you can also see what other searches people are looking for related to that topic. And Pinterest trends will actually give you related searches related to what you put in. So if you put backyard patio in, they're probably gonna give you like small backyard patio or small landscaping um, patio, patio ideas, things like that. So you can see what other people are searching for related to that main topic and see if you need to switch up your verbiage a little bit. Now, once we have our content library, we have our content plan, we've pulled our analytics in, now you're gonna start to pull in the important pieces of content into your action plan, into this is what I need to create pins for list. And that is where you're gonna pick up doing a little bit of additional keyword research, you're gonna make a Pinterest image for it, and you're going to schedule it. Now, I create pin plans on a week-by-week -week basis. One of the assistants on my team actually creates pin plans for an entire month. One of our clients, we actually have to create a pin plan for them 60 days in advance of that month happening. So this is going to vary business to business, person to person. However, I would suggest creating a minimum of a seven day pin plan at a time. So create a week at a time and maybe you do four weeks, but you have each week broken out. That way you can visually see what you need to create content for. And it's a lot less overwhelming when it comes down, down to creating the pins for that, that piece of content. You don't have this huge list of pins you need to create for. You just have a smaller list. Create pins for that smaller list and it's a big win. Get them scheduled and let them go out while you start on the next list. If you wanna snag any of the templates I've talked about in this video for ClickUp or the spreadsheet, you can do so by going to pinprofitacademy.com. They are part of the membership when you join. You just get the ClickUp resources and the Pinterest system when you join. So you can find the link to the Academy down below or you can simply go to pinprofitacademy.com. Join us. I promise not to hold you hostage at a high rate every month. You can come and go as you please. So if that's it for creating a pin plan, it doesn't seem so hard, right? We're looking at our content plan. We're looking at our content library. We're looking at our analytics and we're pulling from those three things the things that we are going to create pins for. So no more guessing. Now, if you need any help with creating your own pin plan or if you have any questions around this, be sure to leave us a comment down below and head right on over here and watch more Pinterest marketing tutorials. And I will see you next time.